The Alma Talan arc starts now, people. We are going in. So this chapter of Magi, we finally find out Aladdin's going to reveal to everyone at the summit the truth about Alma Talan. And they're thinking, you know, where, where the fuck is Jadal? He should be saying this right now. And he's saying, oh, he didn't want to be interrupted. He was, like, busy training for his magic. And he was like, oh, the co-empire is just going to represent, like, the entire country. And it really makes me wonder, like, after seeing this chapter... If Jadal would have saw this right now, if he would have saw this whole Alma Toran sort of stuff, would this really change who he is? Like, would it really like change his mindset on things? Because that that's one thing I'm wondering about right now. Or is like Jadal that far down into like depravity that he honestly just does not give a fuck, even if the truth of the world is shown out to. I mean, he his truth about himself pretty much really fucked him up when he was next to Aladdin, but that still wasn't enough to really change his mindset, saying, "Oh, I give up. Please, you're amazing." Like. Or anything like that. And when they say he reveals you, yeah, uh, Al Matoran is where our, like uh, the uh, Al Samin and also the Jinns, all of us were born. And they're saying, you know, it's pretty much like an other world, and it's sort of like a represented like the other worlds are like mirrors. And it's like even Sinbad was saying, yo, but there probably are other worlds out there. Like saying like if, if it's on a star or anything, but it's more like a mirror world that is it's like the complete opposite to the current world. And he's saying, you know, have you ever wondered anything like about that? Saying like how we came into existence, why we're the only intelligent beings on this planet like that. He's saying it's because the art, like all of this was sent by us. We're the only reason we're here. The jinns, Al Sami, Aladdin, we're here because we were sent by King Solomon. He's the one that created the earth, the water, the sky, the gravity, everything that you guys are on right now belongs to your very existence is there because of him. And he's saying he shouldn't, he got told by Solomon not to tell anyone about this, not anything about al Toran, because this will bring them into despair, knowing the truth about their birth. But Aladdin don't agree with that. And he's saying, I'm gonna deny God like that. And he like smashes his staff down. Why, like really going against his potential father, because that's what I'm going for. This is the reason why I'm saying that he's the only other person who's had Solomon's wisdom apart from King Solomon himself makes me feel that he is actually the son of Solomon, or perhaps that he is the clone, kind of like how Titus was to Shehazade. So it is very interesting what that could be, like why is that, or uh, perhaps even a reincarnation of him. And then he's shown everyone like the whole Avatar, and he's actually using like with the help of Yunnan doing this clairvoyance magic, kind of like. Mogomet did it, like the Chancellor, which I kind of liked because I was kind of like a little bit of respect to him, saying, you know, I'm using the same magic as you. And he's, and he's questioning, you know, why are we the only intelligent life forms? And he showed Alma Taran many intelligent life forms that kind of looked like people already gone for their Dijin assimilations. And they were saying, like, pretty much it's the same thing as it goes in this world. War breaks out. They want to fight. They'll join, some will join forces, others will kill each other. And going out and in that world, the weakest of them all was humanity and humanity it was pretty much like attack on titan in that world for them it's like humanity was the weakest and they had all these colossal monsters and stuff just left and right but one thing humanity had was king solomon appeared the strongest power in the world who outdid the world and created a new one and then it just says alma tolan arc starts next week we are already going to get like the whole backstory alma tolan i am freaking hyped about this and then it makes me wonder a few questions about this you know about a few characters as well because we see at the end of this chapter that there are four people like obviously we know the top one is king solomon the one at the bottom middle bottom is obviously going to be yoko and we already know two of the magis now it makes me question you know who are the other ones i'm guessing and this is my theory at this that one of them is potentially ugo now just hear me out on this theory now it's saying like Ugo, the reason why like Aladdin could have been with Ugo and why he was like sort of trusted him by King Solomon could have been that he was a very close friend, a right hand man, uh, man King Solomon, kind of like how Ali Baba and Aladdin are. So I'm guessing, you know, to make sure, you know, like Aladdin was safe and he was kept safety for all this world, that he asked Ugo to go through the assimilation and become a Dijin just for that matter. Or that he was just an actual Dijin to begin with and he went through that matter. That's why I'm guessing that he did that the King Solomon. The other one could potentially be, you know, Yunnan. We've seen that Yunnan goes through the reincarnations. Although it's still highly doubtly um, if it could be Yunnan or not. It could be someone we 
completely know because we remember we did see someone that kind of reminded him of Al Aladdin and Ali Baba could have reminded of King Solomon and one of his friends. So that could be the Ali Baba lookalike as well. Maybe he's like a version of him. But we definitely know about two of them already. And that's like, I'm just very excited. Though. And one thing as well that made me wonder um, about this is that about Sinbad himself. What, like, what if Sinbad, the reason why he's so special, the reason why he's so great, he's actually got the power of King Solomon. He hasn't got his wisdom, but what if he's got his brute strength? It's kind of like with the, like, one son has the amazing, you know, wisdom, the power and all that. Like, the things that could change the world, and the other has the brute strength to forcibly change that world. That could be my theory. It's all out there. It could be a load of stuff, but it makes me wonder. With reading the Sinbad manga as well, why, like, when all of them were thinking, like, oh my god, like, something just crazy just happened right now. Maybe if it was, like, even if Gyoko was wondering about that, what if he, she thought for a split second then that that was Solomon? That's just, like... So maybe that could be an interesting why Sinbad that strong as well. Like there's just a lot of things out there in the moment in Maggie that I really want to know. And maybe with the Alma Toran arc starting, maybe some of these answers might get in um answered and I'm just looking forward to it. So overall, really interesting chapter. So much shit being found out already about it. Love that it's like an attack on Titan world right now. That sounds pretty freaking awesome. And I'll definitely give this one an 8.5 this week. A lot of stuff happening, you know. Very dialogue heavy, you know. We had a lot of stuff going down, so that did drag on a bit. Just the theories I've got and thinking about that. They just got me excited. But what do you think about that? Do you think one of the Magis was Ugo? Or do you think he was just a Dijin, the right-hand man? Like, also as well, what was the relationship between Solomon and Gyokuen? Was it perhaps that Gyokuen might be Alan's mother? There's, like, there's so many theories out there. There's just so many stuff that you could uh, speculate right now. And what about my stuff about Sinbad and Aladdin? Could they actually be part of Solomon? Could he inherit the strength and Aladdin inherited the wisdom? Let me know, guys, because, I, you know, right now, I'm just fucking hyped for Maggie right now. You know me, I really love my shit. That's all for me. I want to thank them for watching. As always, remember... I'll see you guys next time.